All right, ladies and gentlemen, an eventful day yesterday. We made some, we made some, um, some leeway. But first of all, let me holler at all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, we got a lot to talk about, a little bit to talk about it, a little bit of time to talk about it in, man. But first off. Let's just get right into it, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Uh, Y'all already know about that, man. Check it out. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And while you're doing that, I say while you're doing that, let me know down in the comment section who you got in our daily poll, Gabrielle Union or Kelly Rowland. I say Gabrielle Union. Or Kelly Rowland. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Even when I'm with my boo, girl, you know I'm crazy over you. Woo! Hey, too early in the morning for me to be singing, man. But like I said, let me know down in the comments who you got in this poll. Somebody asked me what a chocolate was. Maybe y'all don't like them as chocolate as I like them sometimes, like Lupita Nuango. Nuango. Y'all might not like them that chocolate. So we went semi-chocolate. If y'all want to go all the way chocolate, let me know down in the comments because we can go more chocolatey. I say we can go more chocolatey. But anyway, man, look, we here to talk about stuff in the 2K community. Your boy, poor boy Sin, last night, he hit legend. Do you see him flexing? Hi, the spirit mom mixed with the Kame, Ha! Now look, with all the controversy surrounding everything and all of that good stuff, man, uh, I think he still came in second because Coach hit it a couple of days ago, if I'm not, um, well, a day ago or something like that, if I'm, if, if I'm not mistaken. But Sin hit it. So he's the second one to hit it on uh, PlayStation. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody else hit it before him. But... We, we had to give him his own special segment because I don't know, man. Like, Sin appears to be a good-natured guy. He don't talk trash to nobody. He don't go in on nobody. He don't talk down on anybody that I know of. I'm saying that I know of, right? And it's like people like that, y'all be the quickest to try to jump on and turn on those people. Just like like last night, I'm playing with somebody. I, done, I torched the dude the game before. And then I'm like, hey, you know what? He keep following me around. He might want to play. And I'm going to show y'all that clip later on. He be, but but he, he keeps following me around. He might want to play. And then after he lost because he gave up 13 points, he want to try to blame us and say, I'm trash. I'm going to trash you too. Are you serious? Like, that's, that's what's wrong with the community right there, man. You got to take some accountability. But anyway, Sam was quoted as saying, if I lose now, I'm trash because, you know, you get those 10 extra badge upgrades. So he went through, put all his badge upgrades on and good stuff like that. Look, man, I'm going to tell you like this. I salute. Anybody, anybody that grinds like that. He said it took him almost 10,000 games, but the last few games, you could definitely see that he was playing just for rep, and uh, it made a big difference. It made a huge difference when you're playing just for rep as opposed to playing, you know, just playing the game. I think he was showing his actual cards after the games, and the games where he was scoring a lot of points, he was scoring around eight to 10,000, but... When he was playing just for rep, he's scoring, you know, 12 to 12,000 at a minimum. You know, some of them, he had 13, 14,000. So that really does make it, oh, what a difference. Yeah. It makes a big difference when you're actually playing for rep rather than playing for, um, you know, just playing the game and just having fun. So, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where I feel like it's a game you're supposed to try to have fun, but like, I guess when you grind, you do have to figure out what works and play a certain way because that's what Jay Fox and all those guys had to do last year, man. They really had to figure out what worked. Sam Pham had the biggest, the best rep method. And uh, once they figured out what worked, let me put this, let me put this chat stick on, man. I don't like licking my lips, boy, especially early in the morning. But anyway, Sam Pham and his, and his group of grinders, his group of grooting grinders, they found out the best rep method and they went through and they uh and they did that thing, so it is what it is. Anyway, on to our next story. Hot spots. I know, I don't know what these people are talking about because we're saying that hot spots were set. They're saying that they didn't. And this is what this is this is the official word from uh 2K Bill Guru. 
Uh, now some now Wolf Wolf came out and said after the day's patch, hot spots were taken away from all my players. Not sure if it's not sure if this is intentional or a mistake, but it seems like I'm not the per I'm not the only person with the issue. I guess that's what he's trying to say. FYI, and he tweeted that Baluba and Zar and all those guys, and then 2K Bill Guru says hot zones did not reset uh, with 1.08. They are they are no longer those from my career. They never were. That was in the last patch. Finally, when you go into when you go into my when you go into Pro Am Arena and uh, shoot around, the hot zones will match though match bro can y'all speak english if y'all gonna type will match those developed in in pro-am and they will be all and they will also and they will what and they are will be used what what are you trying to say and they will be used i guess that's what he's trying to say and then zach timmerman chimes in and says the percentages have changed a bit uh have changed a bit to to be more lenient um uh, might post them soon that's cool uh, somebody says, you know, we want to make it 50 games. And uh, Zach pretty much said that they're thinking about doing that in 2K21. They said, why not in 2K20? Zach just says, uh, technical reasons and memory. Look, th that's a lot of stuff to track. Um, but I don't think expanding it from... Uh, I don't think expanding it from 25 to 50 games is going to kill a whole lot of memory. Let's just be real, guy. Like, that's like... Well, I mean, I guess it, let's say if it's, if it's 100K... Um, if it's 100 kilobytes and you extrapolate that over 15 million players and then times about three, 15 million, 45 million. I mean, that, I guess that could be, um, I guess that could be a lot. Let's see. But see, we don't know how much it takes up though. But um, even so, let's just say, we, we, we know a my career player is 16, is 16 megabytes on PlayStation. So let's just see. Let's say if it's 100 kilobytes times 15 million players, and then multiply that times three, and then you divide that by uh, uh, forty-five. What's that? F Four billion kilobytes, and then we say kilobytes to megabytes, and it's four point five billion. So we say four five zero zero zero, and then zero zero. No, 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 a million. Okay, four, five, zero, 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 zero. So that's like, you know, uh, that's 4,500 megabytes. So yeah, y'all can't afford that. It is what it is. But like I said, I don't claim to know how big the tracking system is or what it is or what. I just don't think, I don't think it would be that bad if you expanded it or anything like that. But y'all let me know if y'all think this is cap or not. That's cap right there, my guy. Because my hotspots were gone. My hot spots were gone to the point where I'm shooting from the corner and it's a neutral spot. Now maybe I was just missing that much. And then my other hot spot, and then I developed a hot spot somewhere else. It is what it is, man. But but my cold spot, I don't know, man. My hot spots seem to be gone on my player. So whether they reset or not, y'all let me know. But for me, it appears they reset. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. Did y'all stick? Let me know down in the comments if y'all, if you guys' hot spot stuck, because mine didn't. I was shooting last night butt naked. I didn't have any hot zones. My hot zone hunter wasn't popping. Fortunately, I'm smart enough to put on corner specialist where where I have on corner specialist. When I got that on, I know what time it is. I got on corner specialist, and that helps me shoot from the corner. I put that up. I put hot zone hunter on um, on silver until I get all my hot spots back. But that's just my personal experience. My hot spots were no longer. Now, if you guys have spots to steal there, let me know and let me know. Um, do y'all think they should expand it to 50 games? I don't even think they should expand it to 50 games, man. I think they should just put it back to how it was. I mean, I can deal with it the way it is, but it sucks having to go into the park and fix your hot spots when you don't get shots like that. Like, you're really not going to get shots like that in the park. I can understand and wrecking stuff like that. That's understandable. But in the park, you really don't get as many shots to fix your hot spots as you would somewhere else. So I would rather, I would prefer that be how it is. If, if park is supposed to be your arcade mode, I would prefer that at least the park be, you know, be like that. Because it nothing sucks worse than, this is really my hot spot, but that 25th game falls off, and now I got a cold spot here until I shoot lights out again, and then I get my hot spot back. I just, I mean, we, we, we definitely either need a bigger sample set or something like that. But as I said, my hot spots are gone. 
and I have to I have to get them back over. I got most of them back over. I got like I got two, I only shoot from like four spots on the floor. I shoot corner corner wing wing. So I have one two hot spots. I got one hot spot on the right, and I got one hot spot from the right right wing. I didn't get a chance to shoot from the left wing because people just straight face guard me over there. So I didn't get a chance to shoot there. And I got a cold spot in the short corner. But I told y'all about that. Um, so maybe they didn't disappear. Maybe my hot spot just turned to a neutral spot, man. I don't know. Hey, it is what it is. On to our next story, man. And our last, our final story. We got um, LD2K chiming in on the on the uh, animation glitch. It just it simply says devs are aware of of animation slash jump shot bug uh, post patch. Keep an eye out. Uh, keep uh, keeping an eye out on anything else since since the release of the patch as well as working privately with nba 2k uh, on reddit uh to compile issues for teams and producers who are also monitoring feedback bro okay so this says a lot to me you're putting the game out and then you're monitoring feedback you're putting out a half-ass game like this is just the ultimate admission you're putting out a half-assed game, and you know that you're doing it, charging full price, and just say, don't worry about it, we'll fix it along the way. And you know we're going to play it, because we basketball heads. There's no other basketball game on the market. If live and just get that act together, man, I swear to God y'all can take a darn, a big portion of it, but you gotta change that mocap engine, that old outdated ass mocap engine. It's not gonna get it live. Didn't you see that y'all poised for the taking? Why don't 2K do what live do sometimes? Well, they couldn't have left us in the state that they left us in in 2K19 with lockdowns so taking away 90% of the court or whatever. But, hey, it is what it is. Look, somebody, see more money comes through and says, uh, irrele uh, why patch jump shots? It's irrelevant. Uh, and he said, Mike Wong already confirmed that no no jump shot patches, whatever. Dude says you're lying. Dude says no, sir. That's, that, come on, man. There's never there's never a reason for this. You're lying. Let's be more civil and do like Magic Eyes, Magic Eyes did, and do what me and Brutal Sim always say. Let's not get hung on the word patch. We all have a problem with the jump shot changes when they make changes to the overall game. Can we all agree that no one play, no one who plays the game wants this to happen? So please stop. You're not lying, but you're deceiving us. These shots change. The shot change, period. Dro hey, look, I got the mic. I'm dropping it, and I'm out like Coke got it. That's it. That's the ultimate mic drop, my G. That's how you do it. And, my, and look, now, now, LD has no choice. You to put him in a corner. You to said you was bad in school. Take off your, take off, take off that, put the dunce hat on and go sit in the corner right now. Get, you get in this house right now, young man. And then here comes LD2K says, yes, that is a difference from actively. But no, you said don't nothing change. Y'all said don't nothing change. But see, this was happening when you put them in a the corner. They got to admit. That's why that many, many more in the patch notes, they didn't put many, many more out there because they didn't want anybody to know that there was a glitch, that there was a glitch that had to be tamed. If you put that in the notes, there's an admission that it happened. They don't want to admit that the demigod thing ever happened. They don't want to admit that these, these awful bugs and stuff like that, blue screens and all that stuff ever happened. They don't want to admit that. They want to pretend that the game is perfect, so when they put it to their board members and they see these patch notes, they can't see, damn, people people were able to circumvent the system and make broken players and all of that stuff. Anything that would affect the bottom line, they don't put it in there. They never put that they patched the, that they patched the uh, a VC glitch. It just goes under many more. Because if their board members saw, or you know, board members and shareholders saw what was going on and that they were, and stuff like that was costing them money. Of course, the demigod glitch was costing them money because you could take a 60 overall player, make a 99, and you could grind them up. You had to come out of the game every time, but you could grind them up from 60 with no money spent. That's something that's going to cost them money. Them board members will have a damn fit. VC glitches, they never put it in there. Why? Because the board members will have a fit. Hmm. They're looking at the paper on the, hmm, a VC glitch. VC is our virtual currency, right? Did this cost us money? How is this allowed? So they don't they don't put stuff like that in the patch notes because they don't want to have to explain that to the board members. Stay woke, man. Come on, man. But anyway, anyway, LT2K says that's different from actively patching or changing jump shots, like some suggest. This last patch introduced something something else, which uh, which which I guess he's trying to say our which our devs are aware of. 
I'm also keeping an eye out for anything else. And then my guy says, thanks for the honest response. A simple, we are sorry. This was an unintended, unintended consequence. Look at my boy Magic. I know he watched my videos. That's the exact verbiage that I use. This is an unintended consequence goes a long way. I personally think your talents are underutilized. Of course they are. They don't have enough staff and they don't let them do it. Uh, it's, it's like Howard Schultz being at being a barista. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure he can, I'm sure he can make one hell of a cup of Joe, but he's best served as a CEO. Hey, that is what it is, man. Hey, look, that's all we trying to say, my guy. We know when something changes in the game, we play this game borderline obsessively. We play it too much. You got me, man, man, brutal sim, doggone sin. All of us, we play the game so much. We know when something changes a little bit. Like right now, the park is laggy as all get out. I got a PlayStation 4 Pro. Sometimes the game will be, be great. Halfway through the game, it just lags like all get out. It is what it is, man. It's one of those things where like, like it gets exhausting. But I'm gonna still play the game because I really enjoy this game, bro. Like y'all might not like it, but I like it. And like we look, we look. If the women poll has proved nothing, right? It should prove that we all don't like the same things. That's what the women poll is about. We don't all like the same things. Y'all didn't even know that I was doing a psychological experiment. I really wasn't. I just made that that stuff up right there. But we all don't like the same things. That's it. We don't all like the same things, and that's okay. I can like this, you can like that, and we can still be friends. But what we cannot still be friends is if you took the L of the day like Greg did. Hey, look, take a look at the score real quick. Can you guess who was crying about people not switching on defense and not playing their man? Now, if you want to see the actual video, go look at the last 15 minutes of my stream last night, and you'll see I broke it down. This guy played no defense and then want to be like, oh, you a YouTube and stuff like that, but you got, see, y'all like to do stuff like that. Y'all like to do little bitch ass shit like that. Like that's, that's y'all right there. That's the 2K community. It's a microcosm of the 2K community. You want to follow me around until I play. I thought I'm torch. I gave him like 19 the game before. So I should have known not to play with this guy, this individual, but me. Trying to be a nice guy, trying to be true to my fans. Hey, he a lockdown. He like 6'7". He should be able to play defense. Dude put up 13 points on him. I got no problem with that. It's all good, my guy. Godspeed to you. You know, we about to get off anyway. But then he wants to go popping off at the mouth, so I had to do a film session on him. And this dude just backdoored him to death and shot a three in his face for the game. Like, that's how stuff goes. And I don't say nothing to nobody. But then he want to try to talk stuff to me. So I got to bring stuff like this up. Bro, you gave up 13 points. It wasn't because of switching. If you go watch the video from last night, y'all will see it. Hey, he got blessed out so bad, he left the park. <laughs> it is what it is, man. And he watching this video too, and he's stalking me right now because that's what y'all do, man. Y'all sit there, stalk YouTubers, right, try to find them, try to run with them, and then when you get your shit dropped off, you wanna try to say something negative about the YouTuber. It ain't my fault, my guy. I'm not guarding your man. I can't guard your man. I'm not going to. Once you demonstrate to me once that you're not going to switch, I'm not switching with you anymore. I'm going to let your man backdoor you to death. And amazingly, my guy scored five points. My man scored four points. And your guy scored the remaining 13. It is what it is. If you don't know how to play, you don't know how to play. But anyway, y'all go watch that video from last night, man. It's, it's hilarious. I did a little film session on it and all that. Anyway. I got to get up out of here, man. Y'all let me know one, one more time for the one more time. Gabrielle Union or Kelly Rowland. Gabrielle Union or Kelly Rowland. And I'm going to catch y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, was I wrong on that? Or do I got to defend? Y'all know how I act on stream, man. I never say nothing to nobody. You mess up. By, it's all good, my guy. Let's just keep running. It's this, it's that. But this dude, this dude literally said he gonna smack me. I said, you should have smacked the ball or something when you, your hand probably don't work. You should have smacked the ball when when the dude was driving to the rim. But it is what it is, man. He'll probably say something sideways down in the comments and I'll just block his dumb ass and then we'll just get him up out of here. We're gonna keep on moving. But uh, he's, a, he's a super fan, so it is what it is. I know he watching the video and his heart and soul just being dug out right now. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna catch y'all next time, man. Am I right or wrong? Don't I always try to take the high road? But sometimes you gotta pull out, you gotta pull, you gotta let them know that I got a pistol for a reason. Anyway, I'm out of here, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. 
Got speed. Hold that loaf, Greg. Your ass. Raw ass.